road trip of the season, baby. Let's get it. War Eagle. Business trip. instructor, former Auburn center, uh, best friend of honors, man. Hey, man. And I'm Anders Carlson, <laughs> most importantly, best friend of Nick Brahms. This is a training flight uh, for Anders Carlson. Been in the program for five and a half years now. Uh, really, now I'm, I'm flight instructing and stuff, and so I got all my certificates and ratings at Auburn uh, through the flight school. It's been really fun. Uh, I got to go through it with Anders Carlson and uh, a couple other guys, Tyler Fromm, Court Bradley. Really just to go through the program with your friends and be able to fly together. It's just a bonding moment for uh, me and my friends who, who share the love for aviation. I've always wanted to be a pilot. Uh, it runs in my family. My brother's a pilot, my dad was a pilot. The program here was great. I knew it would be a great place to learn how to fly. So it was a pretty big influence on my decision to come to Auburn. As you can see, Court Bradley did a great pre-fight for us today. Shout out Court, man. And he did, he was very detail-oriented, so we're thankful for that, Court. Kids, the kids learning his way well, real yes, well. Absolutely. For our pre day briefing, right, we're taking off runway 36. Okay. We got 5,264 feet available. I'm Kevin. After rotation with no runway remaining, we'll call it out and say we have no runway remaining uh, at that point. Uh, we'll find a field out in front of us. Uh, we've got the golf course down there. Uh, most likely that'll be our landing spot. Uh, Within 30 degrees of our nose. Um, if we're at traffic pattern altitude or above, we can try to make that turn back to the runway. And uh, just depend on what the winds are doing. <sighs> so, cool. Yep, you can tell who's been flying recently and who hasn't. So. <laughs> Managing a cockpit and having responsibility uh, and just handling that correctly uh, is, is one of the things I value in life. And, and so, just the same attention to detail that you experience on the field and school. Uh, I get to bring out here and, and do it in the cockpit as well. Turn left down one runway eight three six off. Nice, nice takeoff, man. That was good. Thanks, brother. What's a good yeah, RPM setting? We about want about twenty three fifty to twenty four hundred RPM. Yeah, so we're good right there. Yeah, it should be uh, pretty. And pretty then solid. we're gonna take off this landing light. Really just depends on one. how fast you want to get there. You know, and go fast and just increase it a little bit. You hey, know? as long as it's in the green right there, you're good. We like going Auburn fast, right? Auburn fast, baby. We get real world experiences here. Um, we fly three times a week. Uh, you have a personal instructor. Um, you meet a lot of friends. It's a very professional environment. Uh, you know, they expect the best out of you. And uh, as soon as I started feeling it, that's when I realized, okay, this is, this is awesome. You know, this is something I want to do. Man, let me hear about why you picked Auburn, man. Uh, for this right here, the flight program. I love Auburn, loved it whenever I came. It is cliche, but it is a family. Like, I don't think you experience yeah. Yeah, I mean, what, we, what we've experienced for six years yeah. anywhere else. There's a lot of programs where you can go fly, but you just don't get the college experience and the culture that Auburn has. And so uh, just the relationships I'm going to have moving forward on top of the professional flight education that I received here. It's been a huge blessing. All right, let me go to my checklist real quick. All right. Bro, what? <laughs> You see the sticky note? Bro, what? Yeah, dog. <laughs> hey. So come on. I'm man. getting married. Uh, you know.
know, we're trying to get the wedding party together. Uh, wanted to Dude. see if, if you'd be a, a groomsman. I got to control the airplane. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, dog. Let's go. We got a couple guys taking that step. So it's just exciting to see all your closest buddies, you know, find their one and uh, what a special time that is in your life. I didn't sleep well last night because I was so excited. Hopefully you're free. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll find some time. Maybe. Down in Pensacola, maybe we can fly down there together At the beach? Yeah. And let's start our descent checklist. All right. Approach briefing again, we're going to come here on the 45, look for the fisheries, it's a good, uh, good point to go fly over, this is like valve is both, make sure it is full. Every landing is different, every takeoff is different just because of the winds and the airport, you know, landing distances, runway lengths, that kind of thing. It's all these different variables that you have to account for when you're coming into land. It's challenging, it's fun, and at the end of it, you know, you get a good landing out of it and that's just icing on the cake. Oh, buttery, buttery. That was smooth. Pops up. Dude. Pops <laughs> up, we're good to go. Oh, oh brother. 55 knots, we rotate, baby. Oh, that was nice. Dude, I didn't even know if we touched the ground or not. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was, that was smooth. Need a piece of bread with that butter? I'm not going to lie. You might have me on this that. One. Hey, that's solid. That is solid. Here we go. Here we go, boys. This game has given me a lot. And, and I think as you get into this as a coach, you're trying to pour it back into, into the guys you're coaching. Hey, both y'all. Nice. Good job. Very good. Very good. Very good. Coach Bell has just been awesome. He's been an awesome change for us since he's gotten here. Uh, you know, he motivates us in a way that, you know, I can't even describe, but, you know, he, he expects the best out of us. He knows how to, you know, relate to us. He knows how to, you know, get us better, knows how to, you know, coach us. So, you know, we got, you know, a bunch of guys in the tight end room and just about everybody has a role. So it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun with him. Much better. Nice job. Loves his players, especially when you play hard for him. If, if you love the game like he does and, and you play hard for him, he'll, he'll love you back. Coach Bedell is... The epitome of that he's played this game at the highest level for a while, so he understands it really well. Um, it's a lot of fun to play for him, um, and you see that passion every day. Goodbye. Go, go, go. Good work, Shay. That's fine. That's fine. Keep driving him. Hey. Hey. Very good. Very good. Good explosion. Good hips. Get him, baby. Good concentration. Focus. You got to have fun playing this game. It's hard. You gotta have fun. You gotta have passion for it. And, and especially in the tight end position, you gotta love the physicality of this game, of being violent. That's it, and then that's it, you gotta it, love it, making the big play, getting go, up, go, snatching go, the ball go. out of the air. And, and, and those things gotta be celebrated because you gotta have that balance. Because if you don't have a balance, if you're too negative, they're gonna turn you off. If you're too positive, you're deemed as soft, which I'm not. So that's the one thing about it, and that's, that's why I love this game. And I would say that's my, that's my style. Let's go! Let's move! Let's move! Let's move! Woo! Very good, Shank. Nice job. Very good. It's a very close bond that we have as a group. Um, we're very loose with each other, but we also compete together, which is fun. And we're there for each other each and every day through everything in life. So it, it's a special bond that we have for sure. I think we have the best, uh, best group on this team, coach included. Having him as a coach has just been a blessing. Hey, finish this, boys. Finish this. Lead. You guys got me? Lead. Finish it. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Auburn's tradition. Right? I mean, national champions, Heisman Trophy winners. The opportunity to play in the best conference in America, it's a journey. And, and, and when you come in, it's, it's as quick as you can is to learn the tradition of Auburn football and this great university. So it's been, it's been fun. It's been challenging. And this year, you know, we're, we're well on our way to you know, productivity and just keep on getting better every day. And it is third and one. Hand off Bixby. Head down. Bounces outside. Bixby. Four, three, two, one. Touchdown, Auburn! It is one of the most important rivalries, certainly on Auburn's schedule. And I think the same can be said for Georgia's schedule. The first game in the deep south, Auburn and Georgia meet at Piedmont Park in Atlanta. What's interesting to me about this series, it, it has been played all over this region of the South before it became Athens and Auburn. 
But for a number of years, it was played in Columbus, Georgia. And if you look at the statue of Cliff Hare outside Jordan-Hare Stadium, there is a cigar box in his hand. And that cigar box signifies that they would literally take the game receipts from those games in Columbus and basically here's a dollar for Auburn, here's a dollar for Georgia. And that's what that cigar box was used for. And then you've got the legend of, of Pat Dye, of course, who was an All-American at Georgia and came to Auburn and is one of Auburn's greatest coaches of all time. And Vince Dooley, who was a fabulous player at Auburn and goes to Georgia and becomes a legendary coach there. And there are many of those stories that surround the Auburn-Georgia rivalry. You, you take a look at, at this series and, and one of the, the most dramatic finishes, if not the most dramatic finish, certainly from an Auburn perspective, is the miracle of Jordan Hare. Here's your ball game, Nick Marshall. Stands in, steps up, he's got to throw down field, just a home run ball, and uh, it is tipped off. And Lewis caught it on the deflection. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is going to score. Touchdown, Auburn. Touchdown, Auburn. A miracle in Jordan Hare. A miracle in Jordan Hare. Nick throws into double coverage down the middle of the field, and the ball is tipped, and Ricardo Lewis tips it forward to himself for the game winning touchdown. I mean, it's a legendary play. For Auburn. And Auburn has done it! An unbelievable, remarkable, unlikely, incredible fashion. War Eagle, everybody! Beautiful afternoon for football at Sanford Stadium at Vince Dooley Field. For this team for the first time this season, they're on the road. They are playing in a very tough environment to play. So we got to put our best foot forward every single play, every single rep, man. Play together, man. Play for each other, man. Kick is away. Keontae Scott calls for a fair catch at the two yard line. And Auburn will start first and 10 at its own 25. And Robbie Ashford, his third college start, but his first on the road. And it's going to be Robbie Ashford to run it. He dives close to the first down marker. It will depend on the spot. It looks like he has it. On third down and seven, Bennett drops to throw. Steps up into the pocket. He throws. The pass is complete and very close to the first down to Ladd McConkey. Looks like he may be about a yard shy. Donovan Hoffman makes the first down saving tackle. They look and they throw the ball to McIntosh and he's taken down. Nice ankle tackle by DJ James who had to fight off a block and then make the tackle on the play. The throw and the pass is incomplete. Pass was a bit high and they take it down. Donovan Kaufman took down the Georgia receiver. I thought our guys uh, in the first half, defensively in particular, did some good things. You know, I, I thought our defense has played well. You know, they have all season long in a lot of ways. Ashford from the shotgun. Two-step drop, he's going to run it. Robbie Ashford bounces to the outside. He's got the first down 20, and he goes down across the 25-yard line, out to the 27-yard line. 15 yards and a first down for Robbie Ashford. Nice decision right there, Robbie Ashford. Hopefully that kind of gets him in, into a rhythm. Snap down, kick on the way. And it is wide left. It's no good. Looked like he had the leg, but he missed it wide left. And Auburn's defense hold. They turn, they hand the ball to Edwards, and he's got a touchdown for Georgia. Ashford 
Looks and he throws, passes incomplete, and then caught at the 39-yard line for an Auburn first down. From one tight end to another, Shanker pulls it in. Looks and he throws, it's complete. John Samuel Shanker inside Georgia territory, and he's down to the Georgia 46-yard line, and that's an Auburn first down. They'll take him down at the 47. And the first half comes to a close at Sanford Stadium. Number two, Georgia leads Auburn. 14 to nothing at halftime. Bennett with time, now flushed, he's in trouble, he goes down at, at the 20 yard line, ball is out. Does Colton Auburn have it? it? Yes. Auburn ball, Auburn ball. Not only a three and out, but a fumble recovery by Colby Wooden. A huge start to the third quarter of this Auburn defense as they get after Stetson Bennett and Colby Wooden comes up with the first turnover of the day. trying to get on the board. Carlson's field goal is on the way, and it is good. So, the fumble recovery by Colby Wooden leads to the 29-yard field goal by Anders Carlson. Hand off Edwards to the near sideline. Boy, he got held. Auburn had a defender <laughs> held. Keontae Scott, and nothing was called as Edwards goes out of bounds at the two. Edwards with the carry up the middle. Edwards falls forward. Touchdown, Georgia. Ashford from the shotgun. Drops the throw. Throws it. It is caught. Javarius Johnson inside Georgia territory. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line in an Auburn first down. Now it's the quarterback draw. Bennett across the 40 to the 50 to the Auburn 40. Bennett may be gone. He's to the 10, and he is in for a touchdown. Drops to throw. He throws to the boundary. It is complete. Jarquez Hunter. Jarquez spins at midfield. Gets away. He may be gone. Hunter at the 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jarquez Hunter. Touchdown, Auburn. 62 yards. We were able to get the ball out of his hands quick. Good throw. And uh, I don't, I, it was on the, their sideline, but Jarquez obviously made a spectacular play uh, to get down the sideline and score. Heading to Ole Miss next Saturday morning at 11.